If you like reading mystery novels, sit back and join me in investigating the most puzzling people in the history of mankind. From a mysterious secret agent to an alchemist, here are the 15 most mysterious people of all time. Number 15. Agent 355 Between 1765 and 1791, an ideological and political revolution sparked in British America. The Taxation Acts, the Boston Massacre, the Boston Tea Party, and the Intolerable Acts boiled down to the beginning of the American Revolution. A military struggle began, and 13 of Great Britain's North American colonies fought and overthrew the British rule to establish the sovereign United States of America. Of course, this piece of history will forever be remembered by everyone, especially those who enjoy their freedom in the United States. However, there is one piece of lore that remains shrouded in mystery. It was said that a woman spy, known only by her alias, Agent 355, was behind George Washington's success in the American Revolution. According to stories, this enigmatic woman served in espionage and became a key member in the Manhattan Long Island Intelligence Network, which later on became known as the Coper Spy Ring. However, there's one problem. Little is known about the identity of Agent 355, and her very existence is refuted by some historians. But despite the skeptics claiming there isn't enough proof of her existence, stories and other fictional works about her continue to come out. The idea that a strong woman became an indispensable aid during the revolution is extremely exciting to imagine, and although there isn't much proof, her story is hard to eradicate from history. Historians believe that the members of the spy ring were all males, and there's no evidence found that points to a woman ever being part of the secrecy. That was the case until a letter was discovered. It was among the 193 surviving letters written by the members of the spy ring. Enclosed in the coded letter was a message claiming that with the assistance of 355, Woodhull would be able to outwit the British rulers. Just who is this woman? And what help did she exactly provide? The truth is still out there. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. Tank Man. The strange thing about the internet is that sometimes, the more you see something, the less context you know about it. Many photos on the internet remain unexplained, and this is one of them. Here are several tanks on the highway, and in front of them is a single man fearlessly standing in their way. The identity of this person remains unknown. Although this photo can be seen on some of the most popular websites, not a lot of people know the story behind it. This photo was captured in Tiananmen Square in China. June 5, 1989 was a memorable day for the Chinese government. The day before, the Chinese government decided to put a stop to the protests in the square, and they did so by resorting to violence. Armed troops swept away the protesters gathered in the square who were fighting for democracy. Fire broke out as student protesters set up barricades to prevent tanks from advancing, and lives were lost both on the protesters and military side. However, one scene stood out amidst the chaos. In the middle of the square were four tanks in a line. A man decided to stand in front of the lead tank's path. He continued to obstruct the tank's way, adamant to not let it pass, despite the risk of being crushed, or worse, bombed or burnt to death. It was among the few photos that resonated with the rest of the world. To this day, it's known as one of the most iconic photos of the protest. However, there is still no reliable information about the identity or fate of this man. There are several sources listing several different names, but there's no solid lead identifying the iconic hero in the photo. Unfortunately, there's a high chance that his life didn't end well. Number 13. The Man from Taurid Do you believe in parallel universes? If you don't, then perhaps it's because you've never heard about the story of the Taurid Man, the man without a country. The story is shrouded in mystery, and whether it really happened or not is disputed by some. The story begins in July 1954. On a particularly scorching day, a man arrived at Haneda Airport, also known as Tokyo International Airport. Eyewitnesses claim that the man looked Caucasian but primarily spoke French. He was also knowledgeable in Japanese as well as many other languages. Now, this part of the story isn't perplexing. However, when the man's passport was taken to be inspected, there was a strange detail about it that made Japanese immigration officers stop. Printed in fine letters on the man's passport was the word Taurid. The country known as Taurid has never existed. What's confusing, however, is that the passport of the man looked authentic, but its country of origin was doubtful. 
and so the man wasn't permitted to leave the premises of the airport. Instead, he was dragged into the interrogation room. According to the strange traveler, Taurid was a country located between France and Spain. He also claimed that they had been in existence for the last millennium. Confused, the interrogators at the airport tried to locate the country on the map. The man pointed at the map occupied by the Principality of Andorra, and upon seeing the labels, he began to look worried. He asked the Japanese officers to give him a different map, as his country wasn't included on the one given to him, but the officers refused. They insisted that the man was lying and that the country of Taurid didn't exist. The traveler argued otherwise, but there was little he could do to prove his claims. Eventually, the man was held by the officers to check whether he was a criminal or someone involved in illegal matters. They made the traveler stay at a nearby hotel, and to ensure that he didn't escape, his door was monitored by two guards who kept checking the entire night. The next morning, the man from Taurid magically disappeared. Officers had no idea how the man managed to escape his room. There was no sign of him forcibly opening the door, and it was quite impossible for him to leave through the windows because the hotel room was located on the upper floors. To this day, what happened to the Torred man remains a mystery. Many people tried to learn the truth behind his identity, but it was almost as if he vanished into thin air. Number 12. Istal Woman When authorities recover a corpse they couldn't identify, their remains are usually given a moniker or an alias. The Istal woman were two words that were meant to serve as placeholders just until the real name of the female corpse was identified. But to this day, the name remains. The body of the Istal woman was discovered on November 29, 1970. Hikers in Istalin Valley near Bergen, Norway stumbled upon the body of a woman with burns around her body laying on the rocks. Her face was almost unrecognizable, and most of her clothes were scorched. Nearby, her jewelry and umbrella were arranged neatly, almost as if it was carefully and deliberately arranged by someone. The following autopsy revealed gruesome details about the woman's death. Conclusive evidence about her being burned alive was found, but it was unclear whether it was the woman's doing or if another person murdered her. The woman's clothes and things didn't contain any clues that could point out her identity, and so the most popular theory is that she was a spy. This would explain her strange death and the aliases that were later on discovered in the hotels she previously stayed at. Number 11. Man in the Iron Mask The identity of the man behind the Iron Mask has been a centuries-old mystery. In 1669, a prisoner was arrested and dumped in Bastille. Unlike other criminals, his face was kept hidden by an iron mask. He was transferred to other jails in France until his death in 1703. What warranted his harsh treatment remains unknown to this day. There are countless people who could have been the person behind the Iron Mask. From a disgraced French general to the popular playwright Moliere to a mysterious Italian nobleman. Number 10. The Babushka Lady The assassination of John F. Kennedy was a tragic incident, and today, a mysterious woman is still associated with his death. On November 22, 1963, Crowds gathered in the streets of Dallas, Texas to see President Kennedy's motorcade. As the president was shot, a woman wearing a Russian headscarf was seen standing on the grass between Elm and Main Streets. Because of her attire, she became known as the Babushka Lady. She was seen photographing the exact time the president was assassinated, and whatever photo she captured at the time was never recovered. In a video that was restored, the lady was seen calmly standing as people ran to find cover. It was almost as if she knew what would unfold that day. Number 9. The Man with Two Faces The story of Edward Mordake is often dismissed as an urban legend, but some believe that there is some truth behind stories surrounding the apocryphal figure. Edward was said to be a person born in the early 19th century. He was born with status, but he was cursed with an anomaly. At the back of his head was another face who had its own life. It would cry, laugh, or whisper. Mordake was often described in a positive light, but the face at the back of his head was hideous. It was said that it looked like it belonged to a female, with a pair of eyes and a mouth that constantly drooled. Legends claim that the face's expression perfectly paralleled that of Mordake's. It would laugh when the man was weeping and grimace when he was happy. In his early 20s, it was said that Mordake couldn't bear having a demon face attached to him and begged someone, anyone, to remove it from his body. Unable to continue with his curse, he ended his own life. Number 8. 
infamous hijacker. D.B. Cooper, also known as Dan Cooper, is a notorious criminal who pulled off one of the biggest hijackings in the history of the United States. On November 24, 1971, the day before Thanksgiving, a man who was about six feet tall boarded a Northwest Orient Airlines plane headed to Seattle, Washington. Shortly after the plane's takeoff from Portland, Cooper, who turned out to be using a fake name, approached a flight attendant and handed her a note. On the note was a simple statement claiming he had a bomb in his briefcase. After showing the contents of his case to the flight attendant, she was forced to comply with his demands. Cooper asked for four parachutes and $200,000 in $20 bills. That may be a small amount for you, but in today's money, that's worth over a million dollars. The pilot complied, and as the plane stopped in Seattle, Cooper released 36 passengers but forced two pilots, a flight engineer, and a flight attendant to stay with him on the aircraft. He ordered the plane to fly to Mexico City and to keep an altitude of under 10,000 feet at a speed of not faster than 200 knots. Come nightfall, the man used the parachutes given to him, jumped out of the aircraft, and was never seen again. To this day, the FBI still has him as the person responsible for the longest and most exhaustive investigation in its history. Number 7. Jack the Ripper Perhaps there is no one who hasn't heard about Whitechapel District's infamous killer, Jack the Ripper. The story of Jack the Ripper has been sensationalized over the years. Many authors and artists were inspired by the heinous criminal, and countless literary works have been written about the notorious killer. The story of Jack the Ripper is quite bizarre. It began in the dark and shabby roads near the Whitechapel District of London's East End. It was the year 1888, and no one expected to hear about the deaths of five women. All of them were found cut open, and the nature of the cuts showed that the person responsible was either knowledgeable in butchering or had great knowledge in human anatomy or surgery. Several details about the murders were incredibly strange, with one of them occurring in a busy area where people passed by frequently. To this day, the identity of Jack the Ripper remains unknown. In fact, we're even unsure whether he was a single person or several people working together. Number 6. Zodiac Killer While Jack the Ripper was considered the mysterious and elusive serial killer of Europe, the Zodiac Killer was a cold-blooded criminal who was responsible for several killings in Northern California between 1968 and 1969. He is believed to have murdered at least five people, but there could have been more. What made the Zodiac Killer infamous was because of the taunting letters to newspapers and phone calls to the authorities. Despite police prioritizing the Zodiac Killer's apprehension, they couldn't catch him within their crosshairs. Of course, the taunting made them more frustrated. The Zodiac Killer sent them several ciphers to allegedly help them learn the truth, but the authorities came up with nothing. In 2020, a part of his letter was decoded, and the first line of the letter reflected the attitude of the Zodiac Killer. It read, I hope you're having lots of fun trying to catch me. To this day, the identity of the Zodiac Killer remains a mystery, and his anonymity sparked several theories. Number 5. The Lost Travelers To this day, many still recognize the name Amelia Earhart. Born in Atchison, Kansas on July 24, 1897, Amelia grew to be a determined person who defied gender roles imposed during her time. At a young age, she learned how to play basketball, took an auto repair course, then briefly attended college. However, her greatest passion lay in flying. First, it was one record, then another, and soon she became the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean. One of her last goals was to circumnavigate the globe. And so, on June 1, 1937, Amelia Earhart, along with navigator Fred Noonan, boarded a twin-engine Lockheed 10E Electra. Their journey began with a flight to Miami, then to South America. They traversed the Atlantic and headed to Africa. They went east to India and finally to Southeast Asia. They were coming to the last stretch of their journey, almost completing their goal to circumnavigate the globe, when something unexpected occurred. On June 29, 1937, the pair reached Ley, New Guinea. They completed 22,000 miles off their journey, and they only needed to fly 7,000 more miles. But while flying through the territory, something happened, which led Earhart and Noonan to disappear. When the pair couldn't be contacted, President Franklin D. Roosevelt ordered a two-week search to locate them, but they were never found. About 85 years later, they are still considered missing. Will the search for Amelia Earhart ever come to an end? 
And now it's time for today's topic. There are a lot of bizarre people in the world, but this guy is definitely among the most mysterious of all time. This three-eyed person was among the freak show attractions in the 1800s. Shows of the early 19th centuries were called freak shows as most of them featured strange, bizarre, and unusual people. However, many of them are considered inhumane by today's standards. At the time, different types of people were featured in these shows, and many of them weren't even seen as human, but rather attractions to examine. What's worse, many of them who were advertised as freaks and monstrosities were actually people born with abnormalities. Luckily today, these shows are frowned upon and are seen as obsolete. As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 4. Green Children of Woolpit The story of the Green Children of Woolpit is as strange as it gets. It begins during the reign of King Stephen during the difficult times of England in the mid-12th century known as the Anarchy. Woolpit is a village in Suffolk, and it was where villagers came across two young children, one girl and one boy, who had green skin. According to historical writings, the children looked incredibly frightened and were shaking uncontrollably, most likely from fear. The villagers were struck by the pitiful sight and decided to help the two young ones. They were taken to the home of Sir Richard de Kong, where they were offered food and shelter, but the children refused to eat. This was the case until the children were permitted to go outside of the residence and saw green beans on the ground. In a strange spectacle, the children were seen by the villagers eating the small green beans straight from the dirt. According to stories, the children lived with Richard de Kong for several more years until they were old enough to survive on their own. During their stay, they were taught to eat other food, and over time, they lost their green complexion. The green children also learned how to speak English years after their stay. The boy died shortly after being baptized, but the girl, who was known as Agnes, continued working for Richard until she married. Theory suggests that the children were the descendants of Flemish immigrants who were killed by King Stephen or King Henry II. The children's green complexion could have been malnourishment, but none of these claims were ever confirmed. Number 3. 200-Year-Old Mystery of Caspar Hauser On May 22, 1828, a young boy, 16 or 17 years old, by the name of Caspar Hauser, wandered aimlessly in the public square of Nuremberg, Germany. All he had with him were two letters, one of which was addressed to the captain of the cavalry, asking them to take the young lad and take care of him. The second letter, which was dated from 1812, was written by the boy's mother, stating that her husband was long dead, and to let her son join the military forces. When he first appeared in the square, Hauser was illiterate, he could neither read nor write, and he acted incredibly odd. However, within several weeks, the boy improved almost as if a switch had been turned on inside of him. He learned how to read and write on his own. What's more, he began immersing himself in books. Later in his life, he wrote an autobiography which stated that for most of his life, he was forced to stay in a dark room and was only fed by unseen strangers. Several people believe that Hauser was a savant, a rare condition in which people with developmental disorders are born with an amazing ability or talent. It was believed that Hauser was suffering from undiagnosed epilepsy, but this wasn't confirmed. Most of the things we know about Hauser are unconfirmed. We're unsure whether he really was a genius or simply an abused child who had delusions throughout his life. Number 2. The Immortal Count Do you believe in immortality? Well, perhaps if you hear the story of Saint-Germain, you might be compelled to do so. Count de Saint-Germain was allegedly born in the late 1600s, and yet, several people believe that his life began during the time of Christ. His name appeared many times throughout history. It sounds normal enough, especially because people have used similar names in the past, but time and time again, descriptions of him remain the same. What's more, he's recognized by many of Europe's most popular figures from Casanova, Madame de Pompadour, King Louis XV, Anton Mesmer, to even Catherine the Great. It was said that he mysteriously appeared among the royal families residing in Europe in the 18th century. That is the only confirmed detail about him. His real lineage is hard to trace. Some claim that he was the son of Francis II Ricozzi, the Prince of Transylvania, while some claimed he was the illegitimate son of Maria Anna of Falls Neuburg, the widow of Charles II of Spain. Others, however, believe that Count de Saint-Germain was the son of the King of Portugal to a Jewish mother. 
Now, here's when his identity gets a little crazy. It was believed by many that Count de Saint-Germain is a demigod-like being with paranormal powers, from levitating to telepathy. In his life, tales about him removing blemishes from precious stones were talked about left and right, and he claimed that he also created an elixir that lets its users stop aging. It was believed that Saint-Germain adopted several egos and incarnations to avoid being caught in the act. Some claim that Europe's greatest geniuses are actually just Saint-Germain in disguise. In some records, Saint-Germain had close ties with Marie Antoinette and her close friend Madame Dadamar. The immortal Count was allegedly the one responsible for warning the Queen about the French Revolution and how it would be the end of their lives. He was also suspected to have adopted the identity of Francis Bacon, Lord High Chancellor of Great Britain. And as if that wasn't enough, he was also suspected of being playwright William Shakespeare. I don't know about you, but I think his story is getting a little bit stretched here. However, his followers and believers claim otherwise. In fact, there's still a long list of events and periods in history where the Count allegedly appeared, from the Golden Age civilization in the desert sands of the Sahara 70,000 years ago, to the Baroque cultural movement in Europe in the 17th century. Number 1. The Mysterious French Alchemist Fulcanelli was the name used by a French alchemist and an esoteric author. It was said that Fulcanelli was born in the late 19th century, and his works were published in the early half of the 20th century. He was a man who was known to be educated in a lot of subjects, from alchemical lore to architecture, art, science, and languages. He is still known for writing books about alchemy, one of which became his magnum opus, a book written with his only student, Eugene Consigli. No one has claimed the identity of the author in the past. For this reason, the name Fulcanelli has been believed to be a nom de plume used to hide the real identity of the author. But why exactly did his identity matter? Well, aside from writing books, Fulcanelli also turned lead into gold, a trick that he passed to his students. Unfortunately, after completing his magnum opus, Fulcanelli disappeared and was never heard from again. Which of these people intrigued you the most? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.